2003 hours, 410, 24. I've got it cranked down. We're at uh, 2, 250 milliamps at 8 volts. 240, 250 milliamps. Kicking out 450 volts at 1.26 milliamps. It's running kind of slow. I've got the brushes set pretty close. 13 meg across the scope or into the scope. Added that fluorescent tube. It's a blue one. It's an F4 T4W or something like that. It's a blue fluorescent. This is reading 12.76 Hertz, peak to peak. In between these should be 627 kilohertz. So these are 12, 12 and a three quarter cycles. Which could be Either way, 12.76, you can blow this up, these coming out of, out of this. This has got three transformers in series. They're all out of a Smithsonian globe. Like I said, it's running at, this is 230 milliamps. 8 volts. It's turned down right now. This is 20, now well, 28 kilohertz in that area. 27, high 27s. But there's the scope on it. This, this. This this So there's the peaks it's kicking out. This 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 is the FM starts at five megahertz. Well, it's coming up with uh, a plus 11 minus 38 volts peaks, 52, that's probably an absolute, this 5 milliseconds, we got 37s, 30, 50s, da da da, 20s, there's three of them. That's the Bolliger kicking out. Like I said, I've got this lightly set. Can't really see any much arcing going on in there. I've had to fix individual wires. They occasionally will disconnect. No real concern. This is just an idler. I made a uh, tensioner for it. There's my input to the scope. There's, I got a 3 meg on here. Here, this is set for 10. 13 meg going to the scope. Now if I crank this up, now that's how fast it's running now. Probably around 30. Crank the thing up. 
It's a 10 volt, well it's going to have to stabilize at 10 volts right now. Half amp. We're up to 700. 2.8, that'll drop. This is in milliamps. 2.8.5, yeah all right. It's sitting next to that high voltage line. 2.8 milliamps. We're at 750 volts. Here's 12 volts. 12 volts, half amp. We're at 2.8 milliamps. At Almost 800 volts. I took this blue fluorescent light and stuck it in between the two half watt neons. It got better. I don't know why. I put it in a bigger tube. It got. It went back to normal. So I left that in there. There's nine nanos. These bulbs are across this nine nano. Three. Uh, Three nanos stacked on top of each other. 370 volt, 440 volt, 60, and a 60, so that gives me 30. I've got bigger ones coming in. I will add those on. And that's how fast it's running now. It is darn close to 60 cycles. 60 hertz. volts 2.8 10 12 volts these in between there should be 27 well these are reading peak to peaks 21 Hertz 21 cycles this is on a 20 millisecond scale. Now these, that's another story. I don't know what those are. Negative peaks, bang, bang, huh. I can usually tell if when a wire breaks I'll get a space in it. So anyway, here's the numbers it's reading. They're off scale. I'd have to increase the input. Maybe another six meg, nine meg. That's but we're getting over 80 volts, over 150 between the two. But that's what's going on in the field inside the coil, or coming out of the coil. So these are the pulses. Okay, try this. Let me try this. These. Oh, peak to peak. Says uh, 1.4 milliseconds, 714 cycles. That's pretty thin wire I've got on that commutator. So these are some pretty quick pulses. It's not the thinnest wire. This is reading 169 cycles, 5.9 milliseconds. These How many are you? 322 cycles That looks about the same thing well, It is doing some rising on there 
There's these. These are measuring 27 kilohertz. Okay, there's the 27. Run. Start backing it off. There they are. That's the 27s. Come on, you. There's... Yeah, it's growling. I don't know what does that. Could be the thing trying to speed up. It could be timings off a bit. the numbers there. See it growls and this thing drops. Something growls in there. So there's an update. got a DC me and a minus, well, minus two to minus threes. There's an update.